Hello and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this tech tip, we will use a three-point bending clamp to demonstrate the dynamic mechanical analysis or DMA capabilities of the Ares G2. Using the force rebalance transducer, the Ares G2 is a rotational rheometer now capable of performing dynamic mechanical analysis or DMA. Typical tests with this configuration include amplitude sweeps to determine the linear viscoelastic region, time sweeps to determine stability, frequency sweeps to determine viscoelastic properties, and temperature ramper sweeps to determine thermal transitions, measure modulus, and collect TTS data for master curve generation. When mounted on the Aries G2, the three-point bending clamp is used in tandem with the force convection oven, or FCO, for temperature control. The kit includes upper and lower fixtures, an alignment tool, a hex key set for switching frame sizes, 10, 25, and 40 millimeter size frames, and the frame size can be determined by measuring the distance between the two supports. Mount the fixtures to the Aries G2 with the 25 millimeter frame and select the three-point bending geometry from the drop-down menu in TRIOS ribbon. Proceed to the geometry calibration window and calibrate the geometry mass. Once completed, install the alignment tool onto the frame. Manually rotate the motor to align the upper fixture with the alignment tool. Using the up and down buttons on the keypad, carefully lower the upper geometry until the geometry is fully inserted into the V-slot of the alignment tool. Apply an axial force of about one newton to ensure alignment. Then, from the geometry calibration window in TRIOS, read the alignment position. You can now use the move to alignment position and motor lock buttons in the motor control panel at any time to return the geometry to the alignment position and lock it in place. This guarantees the geometries are always aligned with one another during testing. Using the appropriate hex key, remove the 25 mm frame and install a different size frame if desired. Use a caliper to measure your sample. Choose the correct frame size from the drop-down menu, then enter the width and thickness under the geometry file. Then simply raise the instrument head, move to the motor alignment position, lock the motor, and then load the sample onto the test geometry. Use the up and down arrows to carefully lower the upper geometry until a small amount of axial force is registered, indicating the geometry is now in contact with the sample. The three-point bending clamp is now ready for testing. Typical test procedures include axial force control and compression to maintain contact between the geometry and sample during testing, followed by an oscillation step. This oscillation step can include an amplitude sweep to determine linear viscoelastic region, a frequency sweep for viscoelastic characterization, a time sweep to determine stability, or a temperature ramp or sweep to measure thermal transitions and modulus as a function of temperature. In this TA Tech Tip, we have demonstrated the setup and use of the three-point bending clamp to perform dynamic mechanical analysis measurements on the Aries G2. Please stay tuned for more helpful TA Tech Tips, and thank you for your interest.